plus dimethyl amine. Next method by the reduction of ketoamines. Ketoamines, commonly known as managed base, are prepared by the action of ketones with formaldehyde in presence of ammonia or a primary or secondary amine. Ketoamines on reduction with lithium aluminum hydride gives secondary amine or 2 degree amines. The reaction is CS3COCS3 plus HCHO plus alkyl amine that is RNH2. It gives CS3COCH2CH2NHR which on further treatment with lithium aluminum hydride or in presence of lithium aluminum hydride it gives CS3 CH2 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 NHR. The next method is by the reductive amination of aldehydes and ketones. Amination is commonly used for preparing heterocyclic compounds. For example, next methods which gives only tertiary amines. The first method is by heating an alcoholic solution of ammonia with an excess of alkyl halides. The reaction is CSTI plus ammonia NS3. It gives trimethyl amine along with the formation of hydrogen iodide. Next method by the decomposition of tetraalkyl ammonium hydroxide, which in turn is obtained by the hydrolysis of quaternary ammonium salt with moist silver oxide. The reaction is quaternary ethyl ammonium iodide when treated with silver hydroxide it gives tetraethyl ammonium hydroxide along with the liberation of silver iodide. Next method by the reduction of NN disubstituted amides. Disubstituted amides when reduced in presence of lithium aluminum hydride, they gives the corresponding amines. Next method, by the reductive amination of aldehydes and ketones using 2 degree amines. Ketones on treatment with second amine in presence of hydrogen and on the strong heating gives the corresponding tertiary amines. Separation of mixtures of amines. As described earlier, when an alkyl halide or alcohols is treated with ammonia, a mixture of primary, secondary and tertiary amines along with quaternary ammonium salts is obtained. For obtaining different amines from this mixture, it is distilled with potassium hydroxide solution. When the primary, secondary and the tertiary amines distill over leaving behind the non-volatile quaternary ammonium salt. The mixture of the three amines in the distillate is then separated into the individual amines by one of the following methods. The first method is the fractional distillation. This is the most efficient method for industrial purposes. The mixture of three amines is subjected to fractional distillation when different amines distill over the different temperatures. Hoffman method. The mixture of the three amines is heated with diethyl oxalate, the Hoffman reagent. When primary amines forms a solid oxamide, secondary amine forms a liquid oxamic ester, and the tertiary amine does not react at all. 
Next, the mixture containing oxamic from primary amine, oxamic ester from secondary amine, and the tertiary amine is filtered when oxamide comes on the filter paper and oxamic ester and the tertiary amine go to the filtrate. Recovery of primary amines the solid oxamide is hydrolyzed with boiling alkali to regenerate the primary amine which is collected as distillate by distilling the reaction mixture. Recovery of secondary and tertiary amines. The filtrate containing oxamic ester and the tertiary amine is fractionally distilled when the free tertiary amines distill over. The residue having oxamic ester is hydrolyzed with boiling alkali to liberate free secondary amine which is collected as distillate by distilling the reaction mixtures.